Hi everyone, welcome to English Digest. I'm Angeline, and I'm Sam. So today we're going to talk about a problem most students in their final year of high school encounter, and that is what faculty should they apply to in university? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an important decision to make. In order to decide which faculty you want to apply for, you need to know what career you want to have. Okay.、Mm. So that means after you're done high school, you pretty much need to decide on your career. Yeah. So you can apply to the appropriate department in university. It won't be very helpful for you to be in the faculty of arts if you want to become a doctor, right? <laughs> okay. 今天呢，我们就要来讨论一下很多同学都会面临的人生大事哦。不是结婚呢，我们要讲的是你考大学要选什么系所。<laughs> okay, 这个呢跟结婚一样重要，因为你以后可能就是要从事这个工作了。那比方说呢，你要当医生，最简单的就是去念医学院，应该不会想到要去念文学院，那就是有点绕远路。所以呢，今天我们。写作就要来探讨一下这个选系所的问题喽。Okay, so what did you major in in university, Sam? Okay, I have a bachelor's degree in agricultural economics. Wow, <laughs> agricultural economics. So、yes. agricultural meaning you're dealing with farming and yes, yes, yes. Okay,、yeah. and economics, which is you know about about business, the, yeah, <laughs> business or it's actually lots of like finance, agriculture, finance or、like、how to make money from From farming, is yeah, that and is? also yeah. like transportation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, okay, so how、yes. to get your crops to the market? Yes, 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 yes.、Yeah. Okay, so how did you come to the decision to study this? <laughs> Are you in the family? Is your family farmers or no? Actually, I scored good enough to enter the faculty, so that's why I ended <laughs>、okay. up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Was it a difficult faculty to enter? Yeah, it's it's、grades? yeah. You need good grades to to enter this faculty. So yeah, I wasn't doing very good. Good in high school,、mm -hmm. so yeah. But actually, I did pretty good in the exam. In oh, the, yeah, like the final, the big one. Okay. So, I thought, like, why not? If I <laughs> got the chance, why not? Yeah, right. Yeah,、okay. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't thinking too much by then. I、yeah. see. I majored in psychology,、mm -hmm. um, and the reason was because I was fascinated with human behavior. And to be honest, none of the other fields interested me very much. <laughs> so it wasn't very hard to come to this decision.、Mm -hmm. What I found to be the most difficult was actually adjusting to university life. Oh, really? Okay, not making the decision about what I wanted to study, but actually adjusting to university.、Mm -hmm. The jump. From high school and university was huge. Yeah, it's、okay? very different. Yeah, I was very unprepared for university, and I blame my high school for that because <laughs> I wasn't prepared. They didn't prepare me for it. Yeah, I went from getting straight A's to B's and C's. <laughs> I think it's like common case for、Is、a lot of people.、Okay. Yeah, because. It's really different from high school life, and suddenly you are free. So you just like start to have a life. You play, you enjoy your time with your friends, and you forget everything. So <laughs> yeah, that also happens to me. Yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at our writing prompt for today. Okay. Yes. 好，我们来看一下今天的这个写作提示了。他说呢，许多高三学生呢面临的一大问题就是大学该就读什么样的科系。最近呢，有一则报道，标题为“避免选错系，开放高三生参访大学”。内容呢，指出一所高中与数间大学合作，让高三学生进入大学校园参访，并体验课程活动，进而深入了解未来理想的科系。请呢就这个议题哦写一篇英文作文，文长至少一百二十个单词，文分两段。注意到他要讲要分段了，而且呢有讲怎么样？第一段依据这则新闻说明该高中这么做的原因及其可能的影响。第二段呢则说明，若你有机会参访一所大学的课程体验，你想了解的大学科技为何以及其原因。Okay, so like we've mentioned before, make sure you read the instructions before yes, you begin writing.、Yes. Right? Look out for things like how many words and paragraphs you're expected to use, and what your essay needs to focus on. So pay close attention to these details so you don't lose any marks. Yeah, that's very important. <laughs> yeah. So according to the instructions for this writing exercise, you will be writing in response to a news article about a high school that hopes to help its students apply for the appropriate department in university by offering. Offering a unique program. Okay, so this program will give students exploratory experience and access to flexible learning courses. Wow. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, so, that's very very. What does that mean? Well, it means that they will get the opportunity to visit partner universities,、mm -hmm. observe a lecture, and participate in curriculum activities.、Mm -hmm. It basically gives students a preview of what university life is about. 
So students get a better understanding of the university, the departments, and the curriculum, like what exactly will be taught in the department. The criteria says that the essay needs to have at least 120 words and, pay close attention, be separated into two paragraphs. Okay, so if you're wondering what goes on in each paragraph, here is basically the approach you might want to take. In the first paragraph, you'll want to introduce the news article, right? Give details about the high school and the program. You could also mention why this program was developed. OK， 这篇文章哦是属于一个论说文的类型了，它牵涉到呢两个部分。第一个部分呢，你要根据文章给的这个新闻内容来描述，你呢必须要揭露它的重点。那在第二个段落呢，则是你自己的状况了。注意到呢，也不是天马行空了。我们的提示呢，有要求你必须要想想你想要怎么做。那分享一下常见的论说文架构了。通常呢，我们在论说文里面，我们通常会有一个 instruction 引言呢。那这个引言呢，通常我们就可以开始了。比方说，像我们这个文章写作呢，你就可以描述这个新闻的内容、它的背景以及它可能造成的现象、造成什么影响。那呢，你也可以说明啊、哦、一些，比方说呢，一般人或是专家对于这个新闻呢有什么看法。这边呢是我们这个 introduction， 你可以稍微带一下，然后呢再带出来我们全文的主旨。那在第二段落呢，我们可以讲一些其他什么内容呢？ Okay. Well, you need to pretend that your high school is offering the、yes. same program,、okay? <laughs> and discuss which university's department you'd like to visit,、mm-hmm. and to give reasons. Okay. So, in the second part, you need to imagine that you are going to visit the university's department. This is our essay's main focus. In the second part, you can discuss the advantages of the news and the disadvantages of the news. To make a neutral assessment, to explain what this will have an impact, to express your own opinion. 对这个事情的观点。那最后呢，记得了，一定要下一个 conclusion， 一个结论哦。结论呢，可以提出对这个事情的反省，或是检讨。或者呢，你也可以提出你的改善建议。一般来说，论说文呢是事实的说明，事件的论述。OK， 我们在描述这个新闻的内容，我们在讲解图表，或是呢要来论述一件事情。所以呢，这个通常呢，我们是在陈述事实。那呢，我们基本上动词时态就应该要以现在简单式为主喽。So Sam, if your high school offered this program,、mm-hmm. do you think you would have taken the same path? As in,、um, would you be studying agricultural economics? <laughs> I think everything would change. Yeah, I mean, through this program, you will、mm-hmm. find things you didn't know you like, or things you thought would be your career, but you actually hate.、Mm, so that's true. That's very good for、yeah. you to try out. Yeah. Yeah, I would be so relieved if my high school partnered with universities to give students a taste of what university is like,、mm-hmm. as well as an opportunity to explore different fields of study. Because、yeah. who knows if I learned more about the other departments. At my university, I might have chosen a different career path. Maybe, just maybe. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Yeah. What's more, you'll also get a better understanding of the curriculum, so you know which courses you need to take. For example,、ah, yes. there may be a course you need to take in your second or third year,、mm-hmm. but in order to take this course, it requires certain prerequisites, which are courses you need to take in order to take those upper level courses. So, therefore, in the first university, you pretty much need to have everything planned out for the four years university. No. One told me about this. <laughs> yes, that's a very good idea. Yeah, this can help you plan the whole four years so you don't get lost yeah, like me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That happened to me too. Okay, so let's start drafting our first paragraph.、Mm-hmm. So, since we're writing in response to the news article, you'll want to give a brief summary of the news article. Okay, it'll be helpful to answer some of the five Ws: who, what, where, when, why, to ensure you have all the details you need to write about this. News. News article. Let's take some of these answers from our writing samples. Okay, who? Which school is offering this program? Writing sample one says a local high school. So it doesn't give a name, but we know it's a high school in Taiwan. Also, who is it offered to? Students in their final year of high school. We can also answer what. What is this program? It offers high school students the opportunity to visit a university's department and get an idea of the curriculum. Hmm.、Mm-hmm. 好，所以呢，我们刚刚已经分析过论说文的架构了，在我们的范例文章里面就遵循着这个架构。在第一段里面呢，先分析我们新闻内容，介绍一所这个当地的高中有提供这样的计划。那提醒大家呢，在我们揭露这个新闻呢，你可能会觉得说，哎，很难哦。看完这个新闻之后，你不知道重点是什么。那这个时候呢，就可以用刚刚 Angelina 提醒大家，你可以问一下自己，比方说是是谁提供这个计划呢？是什么样的人可以参加这个计划？这个计划是一个什么样的计划？把握呢这些时事、人、地、我这些重点呢？那你也可以把这个新闻呢完整在你的文章里面把这个重点陈述出来。
Next, we can talk about why is the high school offering this program,、mm-hmm. or why is this program beneficial? Okay, this is also what we just talked about. These three W's, these questions, are the main one. Why? What is the reason? Why is the school opening such a program? What benefits does it bring? 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 Okay, and in our second paragraph, you're going to talk about the university you'd like to preview.、Mm-hmm. So let's take a look at writing sample one. The writer has always been interested in animation, so she'll need to go to a university that has an animation arts department, right? Because not all universities offer the same type of program. She decided to check out NTUA to see its animation arts department. She is hoping the department will have a well-rounded curriculum so she can learn all kinds of animation skills. So if after Visiting NTUA, she realizes it doesn't offer what she wants. She will know to apply to a different university that would better suit her needs. Okay. Yeah. 好，所以呢，在第二个段落呢，你就要假设，如果是你哦，假设你是这个高中生呢，你会想要去什么学校？这个呢，可能是因为你的兴趣，或是你对未来的规划哦。像是我们呢，在写作范例里面呢，就提到，因为哦，他对这个动画很有兴趣 ，animation， 所以呢，他想要找这个跟动画相关科系的学校了。And in writing sample two, the author talks about her reasons for why she thinks this program is beneficial.、Mm-hmm. So she's interested in pursuing a degree in law, but she knows it's a very demanding degree. Right? It's going to、yes. involve a lot of years of study, and it's probably going to be endless nights of no sleep or whatever. So, getting a better understanding of the curriculum will help her determine if she's up for such an intensive program. Okay. 在第二翻译里面呢，一样是讲自己想要去什么学校，但是呢，他转换一个角度，讲的是呢，他想去念法律相关科系哦。他不是讲自己为什么想要，而是呢，分析这样的计划有什么好处。比方说呢，帮助他提早了解课程内容，提早规划。Okay, 这个呢，也是。For the conclusion, you can end off by saying how excited you are to visit your preferred university, or what you're hoping will result from this experience. Okay, 结论的部分呢就相对简单了。你可以讲呢，你很兴奋，也可以讲说呢，你期待学到什么。注意到呢，我们还是要合乎逻辑哦，整个文章的逻辑。前面呢都讲说呢，哎，我未来想去种田，我想要去这个农业学校实习。最后结尾说呢，我将来想当个医生。Okay, 这样就前后牛头不对马嘴，这样读者就会黑人问号，<笑>觉得很奇怪。<笑> Okay, so now that we have a general idea of what we're going to talk about in our essay,、mm-hmm. we need to create an outline to put these ideas together. Right? Outlines are important in the writing process, as it acts as a skeleton for your article and allows you to organize the paragraphs into an order that makes sense, and it allows you to ensure that each paragraph is fully developed. Okay, we need to make sure we have an introduction and a conclusion. So let's take a look at writing sample one to get a better idea of what type of introductions we can use.、Mm-hmm. Sample one: A local high school is partnering with several universities to offer a new program. So here we know it's a local high school, and what is it offering? A new program. So we know what this essay will be about. In sample two, it's kind of similar actually. It says a local high school is providing a program that allows its students to preview the curriculums of several universities.、Mm-hmm. So this one gives a little bit more information. It does tell us what this program is about. OK， 现在呢，马上我们就要来先写一下我们这个文章的大纲了。那呢，可以看到我们在这个不管是 writing sample one 或是 two 呢，在它的这个第一个段落的主语这个 introduction 呢，事实上呢，他们的主语句是相同的，只是换句话说。因为呢，在第一个段落呢，我们要讲的是这个新闻的内容，句式描述，所以我们不需要太多的个人想法跟创作在里面喽。Now we can use these introductions to guide the rest of the essay, allowing us to add details and turning the answers that we brainstormed earlier into full sentences. Okay, so let's take a look at writing sample one and see what supporting statements follow the introduction. It says,、mm-hmm. "A. It offers college-bound students an opportunity to explore their fields of interest." And B, they get a chance to visit the universities and learn what the curriculums are like. And finally, C, this program helps students make a sensible choice about what to major in. OK， 所以呢，第一个段落的大纲呢，看到我们主题句已经出来了。它呢，其实就是要介绍这个计划是什么计划，谁在执行这个计划等等的。我们就是要讲这个新闻内容，所以呢，我们就是跟着新闻内容走哦，讲说这所学校的计划内容是什么，有什么好处哦，我们就是照着这个新闻内容来写就可以了。
Right, and let's take a look at the supporting statements for the second paragraph.、Mm-hmm. Right, so this is the paragraph where we're talking about which university we want to preview. So the writer says, "I'd like to observe the classes it offers in animation and other subjects." And B, I hope the department's curriculum can teach me all kinds of animation skills. Okay, so in the second paragraph, you can have more expression. The same, we use the word "want" to express what we want to see. What kind of school or college? 但是呢，后面的理由跟分析呢，我们就可以看个人创意来发挥。像我们范例一里面呢，他就有说呢，他想要找这个动画相关科系的这个学校了，并且呢，希望他提供的课程能够让作者呢学到更多动画制作的技巧。And finally, the conclusion. And the writer says, "I'm looking forward to visiting NTUA." Yes. <laughs> so, creating an outline ensures you have everything you need, but also keeps your writing concise, so you don't go off on a tangent. Okay. What's more, you can see where you need to cut information or find places where you need more information to support your statement.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So I share the same sentiments as the writer in writing sample two. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's because I pursued a degree in psychology with、mm-hmm. the intention of becoming a psychologist. That was my intention, right? Yeah. But what I didn't realize was that it would take so many years to actually become a psychologist. Oh,、uh, really? How yeah, many years? Yeah, I think almost pretty much ten. It's the same、Whoa. as becoming a doctor. And what's more, in Canada, each province、mm-hmm. has different regulations to how much schooling is required to become a registered psychologist. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, so in Vancouver, BC, you、mm-hmm. would need ten years of schooling、yeah. to become a registered psychologist.、Mm-hmm. But in, for example, Edmonton, Alberta, you might only need a master's program. You might、ah, only need to study to be have a master's. You should move there. Yeah, I, I should, right? And you also make more money in Edmonton, Alberta. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't know that all of these different provinces had different regulations.、Mm-hmm. So that's also something helpful that you know universities and high schools should tell you yes, about, right?、Yeah. You know, that's another thing that we need to think about is that when you get this degree,、mm-hmm. how many types of jobs can you find? If, for example,、yeah. you decided that maybe you don't want to be psychologist anymore, maybe after three years of school you don't want to be psychologist, but you've already done three years of schooling in psychology. So what are you <laughs> going to do with this degree? You can't just change and you know do yeah, something else,、no. right? As you guys know, I never got around to being a psychologist, but luckily, I think my degree actually didn't go to waste,、mm-hmm. and that's because I can apply whatever I've learned in university to actually my daily life. Yeah, actually, my opinion is never waste if、mm-hmm. you actually spend time and energy doing something. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, take myself for example. I'm neither a farmer nor、uh, an economist now,、yeah. but I can still apply those theories in my daily life.、Mm. Plus, I made a lot of very good friends in university.、Okay. That's true. So I think it is good you got things all figured out and make plans. But what's more important is that you enjoy every decision you made. After all, you don't get to choose again. So yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at some of the words and phrases that you might not be familiar with in writing sample one、mm-hmm. that we took a look at earlier. So our first word, partner,、mm-hmm. partner, a verb which means to join with someone or something as a partner. For example, I partnered with Sam、mm-hmm. to bring you this lesson today. Okay, partner 这个字呢，当名词哦，它可以表示伙伴。例如呢 ，Angeline 刚刚说呢，我们今天的教学就是我们两个人搭配。Angeline is my Partner 这个字呢，也可以像我们刚刚举的例句，也是可以当动词哦。Angeline partnered with me today. OK， 这个字可以当名词，可以当动词，都是表示伙伴的意思。嗯哼。And college-bound students. OK，、yes. that refers to students who are planning to go to college. Bound means going or planning to go to a specified place. For example, this plane is. Paris bound, which means this plane is traveling to Paris. We can also say this plane is bound for Paris. Okay, bound 当动词呢，就表示很有可能、很容易的，或者比方说像我们刚刚讲哦 ，bound for Paris， 就表示呢它是往巴黎的。或者呢，我们可以看一下这个例句哦 ，You are bound to feel nervous about your interview. Okay, 面试的时候呢，你很可能会感到紧张，很容易发生的。所以呢，当我们说什么东西呢，后面接上 bound 就表示呢是有机会、有可能去做这件事情的。所以呢，我们刚刚讲 university bound students 就是指这些学生，他们是有计划、很有可能呢会去上大学的这些学生。Hmm. I think that's the case for most students in high school, right? Yeah. Nowadays, having just a high school degree is probably not enough. 
no. in our society now. <laughs> yeah. And even a university student, it might not even be enough just to have a bachelor anymore. No, I think you need a you master's. You probably have to, have, oh, yeah, masters. Yeah, yeah, and then maybe in the next generation, like our kids' generation, they have to have, have a PhD. PhD. And I don't know what's going to happen after PhD. <laughs> that's that's crazy. And in my case, I believe there's lots of people like me. I didn't know what I want when I was a student、yeah. or when I was young. I、mm -hmm. never know. Like it's good for you if you know your purpose of your life. Yeah. yeah, you already know. You are very determined. That's good. But I think in most cases, it's like you know nothing. So yeah, yeah you just kept studying. Actually, or maybe this is not what you want in the future. Yeah, so, that's true. Yeah, and what we want now might not even be what we really want when we're like forty or fifty years old. Yes, that's when yes, people yes. have、yeah. midlife crisis, <laughs> <laughs> which means you know they suddenly decide I want to switch jobs or I want to switch industries. I don't want to be doing this anymore. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, to have to have your life figured out at the age of eighteen is a bit. Too young, yeah. To me, in my young, opinion, yeah. yeah. Even now, I don't even know what I want to do with my life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I would say, in my case, for me, it's better for me to like work for a while. And, yeah. Yeah, and explore and know something, and then maybe I will go back to school one day. Yeah, work experience is really important,、yeah. and it helps you to become a well-rounded person. A、yep. well-rounded. <laughs> okay, so the adjective well-rounded means involving or having experience in a wide range of ideas and activities. Okay, so a well-rounded program of activities is comprehensive.、Mm -hmm. It is well-planned and it's balanced. We can use well-rounded to describe a person who is skilled and knowledgeable in a lot of different things.、Mm -hmm. For example, a well-rounded student is one who is good in school, plays sports, and has a Good relationship with family and friends. Wow, sounds like a dream. <laughs> Perfect student. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So in the well round, this word well rounded. Okay, this 形容词呢就可以形容一个人呢，他是这个呃各方面都表现的很好的。比方说像我们刚刚讲这个很完美的学生，他是功课表现很好，他呢又会这个运动很好，然后呢而且跟同学、跟老师、跟家里都关系很好。Okay, 一个这样子的学生呢，我们就可以形容他是 well rounded。他是呢各方面都处理的很好，做的很棒的。Right. Okay. Let's also take a look at our second writing sample.、Mm -hmm. Look at some phrases and words that we found in that、mm -hmm. sample. Entail. Okay. Which means to have something as a part, a step, or a result.、Mm -hmm. So before you accept a job, you'll want to know what the job entails. What are your job responsibilities? What duties do you have? These、mm -hmm. are very important to ask when you are in a job interview. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. We'll look at this verb. Entail. Entail also means to have. 必要哦，就表示呢这个前面的主词必然会导致，或是呢带有后面这样的受词哦。什么意思呢？我们可以看一下这个例句了。Such a large investment entails some risk. OK， 这样的巨额投资呢必然会有一定的风险。Okay, and the phrase to start from scratch means to start something from the beginning. And the word audit. The word audit means to attend a course or at a college or university without having to do any of the coursework and without receiving any credit. So you're pretty much sitting in on the class to get an idea of what the course entails. <笑> OK， audit 这个动词呢，其实就跟这个审计、会计账目有关系。但是呢，当我们在讲学校的课程的时候呢，这个字的意思是旁听哦，表示呢你可以去上课，但是呢你不会参加考试，你也不会获得这个学分，意思不太一样。I should have done that when I was in university. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> know, <'cause>, explore. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, you don't get any credit, but if you had some spare time, you could go listen in on a class and learn some other information. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, that would have been. But when I have spare time, I will probably, I don't know, play video games. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we also saw the phrase a passing phase. Okay,、mm -hmm. which is a short period of time during which a person behaves in a particular way or likes a particular thing. So when I was younger, I wanted to be a lot of Things like a doctor, an FBI, even a coroner, <laughs> who is a person who needs to examine a dead body to find out the cause of death. So, all obviously, all of these were just a passing phase, a、mm -hmm. passing phase. Okay, so let's take a quick break, and we will be right back. Unit Twelve, Topic-Based Writing, April Nineteenth. Which university department is right for you? Writing Sample One. A local high school is partnering with several universities to offer a unique new program. 
The program offers an experience to college-bound students exploring the fields of study they might want to pursue. Students like me can visit a department of our choice at the universities and will have a chance to observe what the curriculums there are like. Thanks to this preview, we can avoid making a choice that we'll regret and get a sense of which departments are right for us individually. Since I've always been interested in being an animator, I want to use this opportunity to visit National Taiwan University of Arts, NTUA, and see its animation arts department. I'd like to see what kind of classes it offers in computer-aided design, drawing, and animation. It would be ideal if the department has a well-rounded curriculum that can help me learn all kinds of animation skills. I'm really looking forward to visiting NTUA and learning about what it has to offer. Writing Sample 2 A local high school is providing a program that allows its students to preview the curriculums of several universities. That way, they get a feel for the campuses and discover what the specific curriculums will entail. In my opinion, this is a critical measure. If students choose a major at university and then realize it's not for them, they have to wait until the following year to do anything about it. Even then, they need to start from scratch. With opportunities to preview schools' courses, this problem could be avoided. The department I'd most like to audit is National Taiwan University's Law Program. I've recently become fascinated with the criminal justice system. However, before pursuing such a difficult degree, I think it's critical that I experience some of the classes for myself and hear about current students' experiences. By doing so, I could see if my interest is just a passing phase. If I do decide law is not for me, learning this beforehand will save me a lot of money, time, and effort. Okay, so I hope this program will start being implemented in a lot of high schools so that some students yes, can yes, get an yes. idea of what they want to do when they're in university. I think it's a very helpful program. Yeah. Okay, thanks guys for joining us today. This is Angeline signing off. This is Sam. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.